A mega, mega earthquake hit Papua New Guinea. A 6.7 earthquake has just been downsized to 6.6 on the U.S. Geological Survey. But this thing was very powerful and it hit right in Papua New Guinea. There is concerns of a tsunami. We're waiting to find out if the buoys have uh, how much change in the buoys. There's an analyzation going on. It just happened about three minutes ago. We're going to keep a close eye on this one. But it hit in right in the island there of Papua New Guinea, the island nation of Papua New Guinea. And so we're waiting to find out what type of devastation it may have caused. And the reason is because of the, the, the homes and, and what have you not really well designed or built. Thus, it just depends if it's a very populated area. This was a big one. And I'm expecting some aftershocks to follow. 6.7 earthquake originally hitting Papua New Guinea. We will keep a close eye on it. Stay on top of the story. If there is tsunamis roaring, we'll let you know. But really, pray for the people of Papua New Guinea. Mega, mega quake. 6.7 Papua New Guinea. Our prayers go out. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a 6.6 earthquake in Papua New Guinea. Uh, shaken by a magnitude. Now they say 6.5 earthquake on Monday. But no, on Monday? No, Tuesday. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was just an earthquake. 6.6, .6, and let's get some of that out of there. Yes, here we go, bam, right here. All right, so here we go, it's a 6.6, .6. it was a 6.7, now they downsize it again, 6.6, .6. magnitude 6.6, quake hits Papua New Guinea. All right. On Wednesday morning, I don't know the time code, so the quake initially reported as a magnitude 6.4, that's a lie, it was a 6.7, but whatever, uh, struck at 7.26 on Wednesday morning, 83 kilometers south of the coastal city of Weewak, Weewak, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news, uh, but it was fairly deep, some 112 kilometers underground, which have mitigated the shaking. Locals reported no damage from the quake. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said there was tsunami threat. There was tsunami threat. More to come. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Let's see what else do we have. Let's go back. Go back. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go use USGS. Should have went to there first, but I just went. Wanted to get this out. Um, yeah, so 6.5 now they're saying 67 kilometers west, west southwest of Ngoram, Papua New Guinea. Okay, and we are going to go to the interactive map like usual. All right, let's, uh, no, 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 interactive map. That's right. Now, there it is right there. There's WeeWAC. Bismarck Sea, Jaipura, Papua New Guinea. It's a land earthquake. Land earthquake. Not at a shallow depth, but it was a land-based earthquake. There's East Sepik. Let's get more interactive with it. We got the Nagam River right there. Right there, right next to that river, we have the Chibri Lake. Chambri Lake, right over here. The Chibri Lake, if you will. Let's uh, zoom out. So this was on west southwest of Angrom. So is Angrom here in Wewac. There's the Wewac International Airport. Okay, so that's how far it was from the from the area right there. All right. So wanted to let you know. Let's let's pop out of that. Let's pop out of that, please. And let's go regional. You want to go regional information? 
Did you feel it? We got a shake map. Let's go, um, let's go regional. Let's go regional. Papua New Guinea, East Sepik. Nearby places, directional data indicate the position of the event relative to this place. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Weewak, Papua New Guinea. So the uh, Australia Pacific Plate boundary is over 4,000 kilometers long on the northern margin from Sunda Java Trench in the west of the Solomon Islands in the east. The eastern section is over 2,300 kilometers long, extending west from northeast of the Australian continent of the Coral Sea until it intersects the east coast of Papua New Guinea. Boundary is dominated by the general northward subduction of the Australia Plate. All right. Solomon Trenches, the whole nine yards. So once again, we've had a magnitude 6.5. And like always, I always cover anything over 6. Anything over 6, I try to cover. Because that's, that's usually, if it's uh, shallow enough, that could do some real damage. I could do some real damage, and I just don't have the time to cover, uh, you know, f you know, magnitude five quakes. There's a lot of those going on now, and even if those are shallow enough and in the right spot, they could do damage. Right here, we got Vortex Live. Let's just do this for your uh, viewing enjoyment. USGS reports on a magnitude six six earthquake hitting Papua New Guinea. PNG quake. USG revises to six point five. Fifty one miles. South of Weewak, so that, that, that what we showed on the interactive map there, that's 50 miles. Depth of around 70 miles. Wow. So 70 miles underground. Let's get rid of that ad. Papua New Guinea. Right there. Okay, Indonesia is right next to there. And there's Australia, just to give you a understanding of where everything fits in Indonesia then you got Papua New Guinea right there and then you got Australia and then here's the Solomon Islands we've seen some shaking in the Solomon Islands all over here you're gonna have the subduction zone whatnot all right no tsunami alert issued I've heard well we've heard differently they did say it, there was a tsunami warning all right if there is a tsunami, I definitely will cover that. But that's, let's see, is that all the information I could bring you today? Let me see. Um, yep, that's all the information I could bring you today. This has been James from the Research Revolution. Let's go to images. Let's close it out on an image. Always close it out on an image. Let's close it out on this image. Yes! I'm out of here.